respected brothers in Islam, I am reciting those verses which contain the story of sacrifice, which contain the story of Qurbani. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, فَلَمَّا بَلَغَ مَعَهُ السَّعِيَ قَالَ يَا بُنَيَّ إِنِّي أَرَى فِي الْمَنَامِ أَنِّي أَزْبَحُكْ فَانْزُرْ مَاذَا تَرَى قَالَ يَا أَبَ تِفْعَلْ مَا تُؤْمَرْ سَتَجِدُنِي إِنْ شَاءَ اللَّهُ مِنَ الصَّابِرِينَ فَلَمَّا أَسْلَمَا وَتَلَّهُ لِلْجَبِينَ وَنَادَيْنَاهُ أَنْ يَا إِبْرَاهِيمُ قَدْ صَدَّقْتَ الرُّؤْيَا إِنَّا كَذَالِكَ نَجْزِ الْمُحْسِنِينَ إِنَّ هَذَا لَهُوَ الْبَلَاءُ الْمُبِينَ وَفَدَيْنَاهُ بِذِبْحٍ عَظِيمٍ وَتَرَكْنَا عَلَيْهِ فِي الْآخِرِينَ I recited the verses which contain the story of Qurbani. Now I am saying the simple translation of those verses which I just mentioned. When Ismail alayhi salam reached the age of running, walking, like he reached at the age of 11 or 13, his father Ibrahim salam, took him Mina Maidan and told him, Ya Bunaya, O oh my dear child, Inni ara fil manami anni azbahu kafang zur maza tara. Indeed, I saw in my dream that I am slaughtering you. I am sacrificing you in the way of Allah. It is the dream. It is actually command of Allah. Fangzur madha tara. Now tell me your opinion. What do you want? What's your opinion? Father Ibrahim alayhi salam is taking his son's opinion regarding sacrifice, regarding Qurbani. Ismail salam gave him a beautiful response. He said, Ya abati fa'al ma tu'mar satajiduni insha'allahu minas sabirin. Oh my respected father, do about whatever you are commanded. Insha'Allah you will find me among those who are patients, like father, like son. An excellent response, an excellent answer from him. He said, Abba, don't worry, you can sacrifice me. You can slaughter me. Inshallah, I will be like those people who are patients. He said, Inshallah, if Allah wills. Young boy, Ismail salam teaches us by adding Inshallah. If we intend to do anything in future, if we plan to do anything in future, we should add Insha'Allah. Because we have no ability to do anything if Allah doesn't want, if Allah doesn't give us power and ability. So whenever we want to do anything, we should say Insha'Allah. For example, Insha'Allah, I will perform Hajj next year. Insha'Allah, I will pass my exam. Insha'Allah, 
I will never miss prayer. Insha Allah, I will respect elders as well as my parents. And Insha Allah, I will love youngers. He replied, Satatiduni insha Allah mina sabirin. You must find me among those who are patients. Falamma aslama wa tallahu lil jabin. Wa na daynahu ayya Ibrahim. Fad saddaqta ruya. Inna kazalika najzil muhsinin. Whenever they both submitted themselves, they became ready to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be submitted. Ismail alayhi salam wanted to be slaughtered or sacrificed and he became upside down. And Ibrahim alayhi salam became ready to slaughter him. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shouted, called him out saying, Wana daynahu ayya Ibrahim. O Ibrahim, qad saddaqta ru'ya. You have fulfilled your dream. You have completed your dream. Inna kazalika najzil muhsineen. The way I reward those who are muhsin, who are writers, who are good people. We will be rewarded as same as Ibrahim alayhi salam God from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If our intention is true, if our sacrifice is only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My dear brothers, and my dear friends, this is the month of sacrifice. This is the month of tests and trials. Ibrahim salam faced a lot of tests, trials, exams. And in every exam of his lifetime, he became successful. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made him the leader of mankind. He said, وَإِذِ ابْتَلَى إِبْرَاهِيمَ رَبُّهُ بِكَلِمَاتٍ فَأَتَمَّهُنْ قَالَ إِنِّي جَاعِلُكَ لِلنَّاسِ إِمَامًا قَالَ وَمِنْ ذُرِّيَّتِي قَالَ لَا يَنَالُ عَهْدِ الظَّالِمِينَ O oh my beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, remember when Ibrahim's Lord, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, tested Ibrahim in many ways, various ways. Then he became successful in every test. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said to him, I will make you the leader of mankind. Then he replied, can you not make my followers the leader? What are the rewards from you to my followers? Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala replied back, La yanalu ahdi zalimin. Those are not able to get my rewards who are zalim, who are wrongdoers, who are oppressors. So if our intention is true, only for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our purbani must be accepted and granted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inna ma yataqabbalullahu minal muttaqeen. No doubt, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only accepts the purbani of those people who are God-fearing, who are muttaqi, who are for hasgar. At the time of purbani, we announce saying this in salati wa nusuki 
wa wa mamati lillahi rabbil alamin undoubtedly my prayer and my hajj or sacrifice and my life and my death for allah the lord of the worlds sacrifice means we should submit ourselves to our lord allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we shouldn't do anything whatever are disallowed for us we should do that what are permissible for us we should follow the rules and regulations commands from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we should love our prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam more than anything in this world even more than our hearts the way allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told his khalil aslim qala aslamtu li rabbil alamin o ibrahim submit yourself and he replied i submitted myself to the lord of the worlds respected brothers in islam this is the month of hajj this is the month of sacrifice this is the month of loving people let's love poor and needy people let's sacrifice only for satisfaction of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let's perform a hajj with true intention inshallah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless us with his mercy